Tonight's WGN investigates the battle over plans to convert a well-known River North property into a marijuana dispensary. Investigative reporter Lourdes Duarte has more on a rule meant to fix the system that has now led to even more questions. A few years ago, when marijuana dispensaries started popping up in Illinois, there was a big push to make sure black and brown communities got in on what was expected to be a booming business. State lawmakers established rules to make sure minority-led groups got the same opportunities as corporate cannabis operators. Fast forward to today. There are questions about whether state law needs a sudden fix. In real estate, they say location is everything. And the same is true for dispensaries. The reason River North ranks as a hot spot. It's a prime real estate as far as traffic is concerned. And that's what you're looking for if you have a business like this. The trendy neighborhood known for its nightlife already counts a total of four marijuana dispensaries. And we found a spot here, but there's competition all around us. Green Rose is the latest to open and the first of the four to be led by a minority ownership group. And so we, us being the first social, social equity dispensary, you really have to um, find different ways to fight against the big competition. To so it's, yeah, to compete, it's big brother versus little brother. Now, though, a plan to open a fifth dispensary in the neighborhood in this 20,000 square foot building, former home to the Rainforest Cafe, has some residents wondering how much is too much. I'm like, no, enough is enough. There's too many already. While opinions roll in, here's where things stand right now. A company by the name of Biofarm wants to open that fifth location in the former Rainforest Cafe space. It also holds social equity status, but it's facing two lawsuits, claiming it would violate state law aimed at preventing clusters of weed shops from opening too close together. We told you about the law in 2021. Dispensaries have to be at least 1,500 feet apart. Once you're social equity and you have your license, a 1,500-foot bubble, no new competitors, social equity or otherwise, can come in. That is our read, yes. But minority-led groups like Green Rose don't have to follow that 1,500-foot rule. It was a way to address concerns that many of the best locations were already taken by corporate giants. That is how we wound up here. The law was changed to give groups like us a chance to come into the and not be boxed out. But here's where it gets tricky. Perhaps the state never planned for this when it's two groups with the same social equity status. Can they open within 1,500 feet of each other? We were here first, meaning operational. Uh, therefore, no new dispensary, social equity or otherwise, can, no new ones can come in. That's Green Rose's take, but the law, as it's written, may not be as clear, says Democratic State Rep LaShawn Ford. I think it, there may be some gray areas as to whether or not a social equity could open within 1,500 feet of a social equity um, establishment. However, Ford, who has worked on cannabis legislation, said he'd be open to amending the law if the problem continues. If we find out that this is an issue and they decide that they want to come to the legislature to ask for some restrictions, I'm ready to listen. In the meantime, as legal filings seeking to stop the dispensary wind through the courts, and see, we promote local brands. See, this is Vic Mensa's brand. Green Rose says it's working hard to build its business in an increasingly crowded market. The owners took a, a lot of time really planning out the look of this. It's a very competitive business and it's a tough business. And other social equity companies are uh, steadily coming online. So you're getting, every month or two, you're getting more and more dispensaries. Green Rose's lawsuit filed today in Cook County Circuit Court names Biofarm and the state's Department of Financial and Professional Regulations as defendants both declined to comment. Meanwhile, a group of 12 state legislators also sent a letter to IDFPR asking that they don't allow two social equity operators to be located within 1,500 feet of one another. It's not clear what impact the letter and the lawsuit will have. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates.